for that the child to see the same education and the same extra activities are given for your child. Uh, but the information that we were given tonight, there's lots of different options and lots of different numbers and a lot of different figures. Uh, but between the combination of the two, academics and extracurricular, your child can reach their potential. So with all the different options that we've seen, um, it is the driving force to remember the extracurricular activities, all the extra programs, and the academics. Um, I did have a lean towards option five, and I do have a plan um, that I'd like to share with you. Uh, with the reconfiguration, I was leaning towards having two kindergarten classes, where there are now two first grade classrooms here, and then having two second, two third, two fourth, and two fifth grade classrooms. Um, at the end of the building, we would have two science classrooms, and then where the existing, existing computer room is right now, we would have a third science class. And then moving back, the new wing was built in the 90s, we'd have a learning support classroom. This would be a special education office, music, and learning support. Um, we would also have the locker room become the faculty room. Uh, the stage would be set up for band. And then some little rooms that we have throughout the building would become reading, math, tech, centers. Uh, with this configuration, this will provide us with the room for K through five. Now, what does enrollment look like? Because enrollment is going to look different per grade level. So with that configuration, that means next year, we are looking at 38 students entering into our district. That means room one would have 19 students, room two would have 19. Grade one next year would have 22, 23. Grade two would have 17 and 16. Grade three would have 24 and 24. Grade four would have 19 and 19. Grade five would have 25 and 26. Since the decision has been made, I just hypothetically use next year um, as an example. Um, would that be different than the configuration that we have right now? Yes, it is. Currently, we have three kindergarten classrooms, three grade ones, three grade twos, and three grade threes, and three grade fours, and three grade fives. We have two grade six. And with Mrs. Shirey coming down from the high school um, and helping us grow our science program, we came up with core grouping, which would be blue, white, and yellow. Uh, with the core grouping, that means that the students are grouped out of their two home rooms, and some students will go be in the blue group, white, and yellow. When the blue group is at math, the white will be at ELA, and the yellow will be at science. Uh, the instructional time stays exactly the same. Nothing changes there. Um, the concern is, I have the same concern as you have, you look at this, is kindergarten grade one and two. Um, those groups will look a little bit different, and the students could be spread out. Uh, but with the staffing, it will change. Um, currently at Sligo Rockford Elementary, we have one reading specialist. And the reading specialist is in charge of students in grades one through six. Um, we have a aide at Robertsburg Elementary who also helps us with our title program. Um, with the staffing going K through five, um, we can have two math specialists, two reading specialists that can push in and can pull out. Um, we have a push and learning support teacher that would come from Rymersburg or existing at Sligo to go into the classroom to offer some support. And we have 10 aides. Three of the aides are child specific, so that leaves us with seven instructional support aides. So if we go back with the seven instructional support aides, uh, we can disseminate them into a learning support classroom or we could push them into a grade K, one, or two. Um, math and science. We have some little rooms, um, such as our speech room, where we can put our two math specialists and our reading specialists. Um, the goal there is, when those classes are 24, 25 students, the teachers don't need support all the time, but there will be 
moments where they're introducing new context or doing remediation where it would be nice if we had a specialist that could go in and assist the teacher or could pull out and do some remediation or do some retesting or assist with the test. Um, we have some staff that have some experience in this. This would be probably something that we would have to have some professional development and train our staff to become math and reading specialists. Uh, one thing that we have established at the elementary school is a good working relationship between the teachers and the aides and the aides and teachers. Our aides are, are very dynamic. They pick things up very well and they're hard workers and they want to invest their time appropriately for the benefit of the students. Um, the staff also will work conjunctively in the same way, taking time to guide and lead the instructional aides uh, so they can support the students. Um, we will be, be beginning, um, this is a typical schedule. Right now, the academic day begins at Slide Elementary at 8.10, and the day ends at 2.14. With the addition of possibly closing Lansburg Elementary, we can add 25 minutes to our academic day. Um, one, of the, one of the periods that helps make the transition a little easier is we do have an intervention period, first period, and also period eight that we'll be getting next year. Um, for those students that are maybe in that larger class um, that need the skill broken down, we will have an intervention period one, I would fig, which is for our reading intervention, and then period eight, made with our math intervention. Um, one of the, the, a lot of the feedback that have been given from the staff over the years is we would like some time at the end of the day to kids to gather items, to do homework, just kind of wrap up the day and do some things. Uh, so with this, that extra period, we can have an activity period. Um, that's when students can do homework. Teachers could have recess at that time as long as all students could attend. Uh, teachers could do their individual progress monitoring. They could have a PAS lesson. Students could earn AR points. And it's also a time of the day where maybe day one or day four that they could have band. Um, Presently, Mr. Hepler has band in grades five and six and some fourth graders, and that takes place in the classroom. Well, with all of the equipment and the setup, we're not gonna have time to do that in the music room. Uh, the stage is currently a place where we can set up chairs, we can set the instruments up, and it can be ready to go. Then if space is needed, then we can use the gym floor for that time. Um, we're hoping we can maybe increase the number of days that we have been because we have that flexibility. Um, but we'll be mindful of recess and other activities so students and band don't miss. Uh, currently, we did transition over the last couple of years from band being in the morning for instrumental lessons um, so kids don't miss that.